Hello good viewers, you are highly welcome and in today's tutorial today we are going to be solving this algebra problem and we are giving x to the power 1515 plus x to the power 1010 equals 150 so the value of x we need to get is the x that is real you know that is must be real solution so now from here I'm going to have this so let's start from here I can write this equation this 1515 15 can be splitted as 3 times 505 and also 1010 can be splitted as 2 times 505. You can see they are having something common here. So, therefore, we are going to rewrite this equation as x to power 3 dot 505 plus x dot 2 x to power 2 dot 5050 then equals 150 so now from there so the next thing we're going to do is you can see that we have 505 505 common so we can write this equation as x 50 you know 5 then up to power 3 plus here x 505 up to power 2 equals 150 are you getting it now so now we can see now that we have x five to five x to power five hundred and five x to power five hundred and five here. So let y equals x to power five hundred and five. So in this equation here, anywhere we see x to power five five hundred and five, we're going to replace it by y. We have y to power three plus y to power two. Then equals 450. So now from here, so permit me to rewrite this equation as y to power 3 plus y to power 2 minus 450, then equals 0. So now I can split this because I am having this power 3 here, I am having power 2 here. So can I split this? Okay, this 150 such that. I'm going to be having something okay that'll be having power three and also will be having power two so that we can see whether we can have a factorization there so now uh, let's see this can be splitted as y to power three plus y to power two minus 125 minus what Minus 25. So minus 125 minus 25 will give us minus 50 equals 0. So you can see that here we can have y to power 3 plus y to power 2. Then here we can have 5 to power 3. Then minus 5 to power 2 equals what? Equals 0. Are you following? So now you can see we are getting something now nice. So 5 is raised to power 3 and 5 is raised to power 2 here. So we can do taking this and this together and bring this and this together right so what am i going to have we have y to power 3 minus 5 to power 3 plus y to power 2 minus what 5 to power 2 okay then equals what equals 0 so now from there so what we need to do here is that so I can put the parentheses here. Now don't forget that we have something. What we have is that here, if you have something like a to power three minus b to power three, okay, you know that this is going to give us a minus b a squared, right, plus a b plus b squared right that is for the 
cube of two what that is difference of two cube then also if you have a squared minus b squared that is difference of two squared it is going to be a minus b and a plus b right so we are going to be applying this and this here so now here for this one now so my a is what a is y right then b is 5 so from here anywhere i see a i replace with it y so you're going to have y minus 5 okay into bracket y squared plus 5y plus 25 plus then here also the split of y minus 5 y plus 5 right equals 0 so now from there so we move on by having y minus 5 is a y minus 5 is a so we show that we can factorize y minus 5 y minus 5 out and uh, here we left with y squared plus 5y plus 25 plus this has been left out we have y plus 5 then equals 0 I get it so we have y minus 5 then here let's try to simplify this further y squared then we have 5y plus this that will give me 6 y then 25 plus this i'm going to be having 30 then equals zero are you following so from here we have this so here we have y minus 5 equals zero and we have this is y squared plus 6y plus 30 equal what equals zero are you following so now from there now so let's us look at this because don't forget that we are looking for the value of x okay we are looking for the value of x x will be on will be a real solution right for x to be a real solution so we have going to have let's try to check whether we can use this one let's try to check the determinant uh, discriminant I say b square minus 4 ac so According to this place, the b is the coefficient of y. We have c squared minus 4 times a. What is a? a is the coefficient of y squared 1 times c, which is 30. So we have this to be c squared is 36 minus 4 times 30. 4 times 30 minus, minus 120 right we have this to be equals minus 84 so therefore we cannot get the value of y that will be what that will be real so definitely this will give us what this is no real what real solution here so we cannot get any real solution here so which shows that we are going to go with this y equals transposing 5 to the other side we're going to be having 5 so now from there so what are we going to have? So we need to recall that y recall that y equals x to power 5 to power 5 5 x to power 5 0 5 So now we are going to see that the y is 5 we are going to have y 5 equals x to the power 5 0 5 so now from there what do you do we have 5 0 5 here so we can take the square root of this so that we'll be able to get rid of this or if we have 5 is having power 1 originally and i have x 505 and i want to get rid of this power 
definitely I'm going to be multiplying it by 505 so so that this 505 you cancel this one and you must multiply this and also by 505 okay so now from here this implies that this we cancel this we have x to be equals right 5 to power 105 so which same thing as x equals the fifth root of 505 5 do you understand now and that's the solution so you can see that x is a real number here so and that is the main or the real solution we are looking for so if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this class to your colleagues so they can also benefit from it thank you so much for watching i love you bye, -bye.